Hey, Scratch lovers, how are you guys doing? Uh, we're going to look at using variables in this tutorial today. And um, last time I showed you guys how to move an object and slow it down as it was moving, or speed up uh, as it was moving. Let's just get into this first. Why do we do this? Scratch. OK, so. We've got Scratch up and running here. Um, so this time, we're going to use a few extra variables. So um, let's call this variable move up and down. So we're going to be looking at moving our cat up and down. So in setting this variable, we're going to start the value with up rather than numerical value. And we're going to create another variable for the uh, cat y position. And we're going to set y to 0 to start. And with those things set up, we're going to uh, repeat this forever. And we can use some ifs here. So the first uh, if we're going to set up is uh, we're going to do some comparisons, and we're going to check if our cat is set to be moving up or down. So we're going to go back to data, and we're going to evaluate move up, down. And one of them is going to be up, and the other one is going to be down. So when the variable is set to up, we're going to move the cat up. When the variable is set to when move up down is set to down, we're going to be moving it down. So uh, rather than using our usual move, we're going to use go to x y, and our x is going to remain the same, but our y is going to be controlled by the y position variable. And uh, as it moves up, we're also going to change the y position variable in both of these. If it's going down, we're going to use a, uh, let's see here, it's getting uh, bigger in the negative direction. So we're going to be subtracting, let's say minus 10. If it's going positive, it's moving up. So it's going positive in the y values. If you look down here, right, if it moves up, it's going to have a positive y value. So we're going to use plus 10. Um, the last thing we'll need, let's just test this out first. Okay, so our cat moves up. Very good. Now, um, we need to turn the cat around. So in order to turn the cat around, we're going to use another set of ifs, and they're uh, going to be exactly opposite of each other. One is going to check if the y position of the cat is more than something. So if y position of the cat is more than something, and the other if is going to check if the y position of the cat is less than something. So less than something, obviously, is that it's going to be the bottom um, maximum value. So when it's lower than, it looks like around 170 or so. So negative, when it's less than negative 170, and I'm going to assume above, it's going to be probably about positive 170. So when it's more than positive 170 and less than 170, uh, we're going to change or we're going to reset our values for move up, down. So set move up, down to, let's see if it's less than that, it's going to go up. If it's more than that, it's going to go down. So let's see this. All right, um, it's moving down. Let's see here, is there anything wrong? Let's see here, let's have the cut start at this position, x, y, zero. Y position. Ah, okay, sorry, I forgot to change this. This should be move up, down, to down. Okay, another uh, something that's really good when you're uh, working with this is that there's these variables here that show, and they show the values of what they represent changing as the um, as our animation, as our Scratch program progresses. Now, if we want to slow this down a little bit, let's just add a weight here. So I wait here and here. So we're going to wait maybe a 0 
0.4. And if you look over here, you can see the value is slowly decreasing. And that's because uh, move up down is going down. And of course, as it reaches that bottom maximum, move up down changes that, and the cat starts going up. So we're adding onto our cat y position. All right? Um, and again, if we reach the upper maximum of a y value, move up down changes to down. And once it's going down, the value starts decreasing as it's uh, in this part of our f now. Right, so hopefully um, you guys uh, can see how that works and try things out yourself. We'll see you guys next time.